The adult-oriented South by Southwest and Austin City Limits festivals with their high-priced tickets and sophisticated marketing machines continue to thrive here in this city, but Austin's free, family-oriented festivals are facing some tough times. Amid the severe economic downturn of the last several years, downtown's first night New Year's Eve celebrations ground to a halt, as did the long-standing Trail of Lights Christmas event in Zilker Park. And now in a story you'll see only here on KXAN News, our Jim Swift tells us tonight, money problems are also threatening to ground the 84-year-old Zilker Kite Festival. I am building her a kite. I am fairly certain that she's building me a kite the same as last year and the year before. The very idea of kites is deeply ingrained in American culture. Take Truman Capote's classic, A Christmas Memory. We are champion kite flyers who study the wind like sailors. What a great thing for Austin to have in perfect weather this weekend. But nowhere is the idea of kites more ingrained than at the oldest kite festival in the country. An annual Austin tradition that dates back to 1929. One of our first dates was at a kite making workshop at Northwest Recreation Center, which is a really good way to have dates. The Austin Exchange Club, a purposefully low key civic organization, started the festival 83 years ago. And for well over a decade, Exchange Club members Dorsey and Bunny Twidwell have chaired the event. Bunny always likes to say that. If you take someone kite flying, you learn a whole lot about them, how they handle tangles and how they handle frustration, and then how high they can get a kite. She said, that's a great date, and apparently I passed. But now, the festival attracts an average crowd of some 20,000 people, and an event that large requires tens of thousands of dollars to safely pull off. And with tight city budgets these days, there is a growing menu of fees that come with the use of Zilker Park. On the other hand, this is not just fun and games. For the last 10 years, we've raised over $200,000 for local charities for the prevention of child abuse and scholarships for kids who've overcome some difficulty in their life and are going on to college. So a proposed city council resolution would make the city of Austin an official co-sponsor of the Kite Festival. That could reduce the fee load, but even then, the Exchange Club will need lots of sponsors to step up and pitch in if the festival is to stay airborne. We have a whole lot of people over the years that have given a whole lot of their hearts and souls to keep the going. You're emotionally invested in this. Yes, sir, I am. It's my hometown. I was born and raised here. We unreel our kites, feel them twitching at the string, like sky fish as they swim into the wind. Jim Swift, KXAN News. And that resolution in support of the Kite Festival is due for a city council vote next Thursday. Meanwhile, an internet link to ways you can help preserve this event will be available on our website, kxan.com.